I'm Susan, and this is episode 16 of Fresh Cakes and Mistakes, a new vlog where we discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. Now, I know I took a week off, and I am sorry for that, but I was having a really hard time thinking of what to talk about until I talked to a friend of mine, Brandy Smith, about her weight loss journey. And so today, that kind of just gave me the idea of what I want to talk about today. And I think it's important. I think that it's very important for a weight loss journey, but I think it's important for any journey. Um, we are going to focus on weight loss, but just keep this in mind for anything that you are trying to accomplish, any goals you're going after. This definitely works for any of those. So today I want to talk about getting inspired. Now, there are a lot of different ways to get inspired. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about Brandy Smith's journey in a little bit, but she's doing fantastic. And she tells me that I am one of her inspirations for the weight loss. And I can't tell you how it's just so humbling to know that because when I started this journey, I did several things. One of the things that I did was I started following all of these people on Instagram who had lost weight and a significant amount of weight. I'm talking like 100 pounds, 150 pounds, whatever, however much weight. And I started following them on Instagram because I felt like I needed to put people in front of me who had achieved what I wanted to achieve. I needed to see that it was possible. Now, I'm not part of any groups. I'm not part of any weight loss groups. I'm not doing any kind of weight loss plan. The only thing I do when I talk about this plan on here is my fitness pal. So I'm not doing like Weight Watchers or Keto or whatever. And I don't down any of those plans at all. I think they're fantastic. If they work for you, that's what you should do. But I don't do any of those because they just, those structured plans didn't seem to work for me. And um, being held accountable by other people never seemed to work for me. I did this one group at work where I was being held accountable by everybody else because we had like this group goal that we needed to achieve. And it almost worked against me because in my mind, if other people were doing it, if other people were losing weight, then I didn't need to lose as much weight or work as hard because there were other people pulling my weight. So for me, that doesn't work, but I do need to be surrounded and looking at things, success stories for things that people have done that I want to do. So while I don't necessarily need to be in a group to see other people doing it um, or doing well or be held accountable by those people, I do need to have that constantly in front of me, that inspiration constantly in front of me. Because it helps me to remember and to realize that if these people can do it, I can do it. And these are people from all walks of life. These are older people, younger people, black, white, brown, whatever, like all of these people. And so if, if all of these people can do it, if they can do it naturally, and I do follow some people that have had weight loss surgery, but almost all the people that I follow work out. So a lot of them will have their workout videos online. And I've actually, some of them I've even copied at the gym because they seem just easy enough and, and not so complicated, but also like they're going to give me a little bit of oomph in my workout. So, um, but anyway, the point is, is that I'm following these people for inspiration. That's just one of the things that I've done. Um, but I think it's made a huge difference in my particular journey. Uh, I'm sure that you guys have all heard that you are who you surround yourself with. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to turn into, you know, the person down the street because you're with them or the person at work or whatever because you're with them all the time or a lot or whatever. I'm saying that the people that you intentionally surround yourself with, they tend to be people that you aspire to, people that you admire in some way. And you should surround yourself, you should intentionally make an intention of surrounding yourself with people who have achieved things that you want to achieve. They have traits in them that you want. They have ambition. They have whatever the case may be. Um, they're positive people. And I don't mean toxically positive. Everything's great. Everything's fantastic all the time. I mean the kind of people who try to look for the bright side, the people who take control of their lives and they want to make a difference in their lives and they don't just resign themselves to the fact that the universe is what it is and it does whatever it wants to them and they just have to deal with it. They take the initiative and they decide that their life is what they want it to be. Um, I truly believe that the more of those people you surround yourself with, the better off you'll be and the more likely you are to also take responsibility and take control of your life and do the things that you want to do because you will know that you can do those things. Now, I kind of got off on a, on a tangent, but that's just one of the things I started doing for inspiration. Another one of the things that I started doing for inspiration was I started looking, like scrolling. I would Google it. I would scroll it. I would look up hashtags. I would whatever. Look for positive and motivational content. And 
I mean, this may seem silly. I, I was doing it to post on Facebook. I'm doing it to post to inspire other people. I'm doing it to post to motivate other people, but I'm also doing it to post and motivate myself. And now years later, or a year later, I'm seeing my posts from last year that are re-motivating me. So I'm becoming my own inspiration and all of my posts are becoming my own inspiration about what I know I can do and what I'm motivated to do and all the positive outlook things that I, you know, that I've aspired to over the last year and a half. So I've become my own inspiration on top of also having that inspiration on, um, you know, Instagram or my fitness pal or Facebook or whatever, all the people that I started following to try to inspire myself and make myself realize that if they could do it, I could do it. Now I'm looking back and I'm like, if I can do it, I can do it. You know, I lost a hundred pounds. If I can lose a hundred pounds, I can lose 35 pounds. If I can keep a positive outlook on a bad day and not eat myself into a fit on a bad day a year ago, then I can certainly do it now. So become your own inspiration. Post your, well, first post things, talk about things, look for things, look for content. I save content constantly. I might not even post it all. You guys probably see my stuff on Facebook or my Instagram or whatever, but I don't even post all of it, but I have it. I have it to look through. I have it to see on a bad day if I need it. You know, so look for that positive content, look for those positive words, because the more you surround yourself with that kind of positivity, the more your outlook is going to be more positive. And again, I go back to, that doesn't mean everything's going to be sunshine and roses all the time. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have bad days or cry yourself to sleep sometimes because God knows we all do it. And it doesn't mean you're not going to shove a cookie dough into your mouth on a random Tuesday night because I still do that too. What I mean is look for the bright side and make sure that you are aware that you do get to control how your life turns out. That doesn't mean you're going to control everything that happens in your life, but you do get to control how your life turns out, what life you're living. You designed that life. So you can redesign it if you want to. The last thing I want to talk about with inspiration is going to be, it's going to feel kind of silly, if that makes sense. But what I want you to do is, you know the thing you think you're going to be able to do once you lose the weight or save the right amount of money or get the promotion or whatever it is that you think you're going to be able to do, like, go ice skating when you lose the weight or get on a plane when you lose the weight or when you save the money, you'll be able to uh, buy the new watch or whatever the case may be. I want you to do that now. I want you to do that thing now. And, you know, I'm sure that all the things won't work and I'm sure you won't be great at all the things right away, but get yourself into the mindset of the person that you want to be, of the goal that you want to achieve. Get yourself into that mindset. So if you think, you know, I'm going to be able to ice skate when I lose this weight. Go ice skating. I was 330 pounds on ice skating. Okay, you can ice skate. You might not be great at it. I wasn't great at it. I never have been. I don't care. Even 100 pounds later, I'm probably not great at it. But I love it. It's amazing. So whatever it is that you think you're going to be able to do once you lose the weight, go try to do it. Suck at it for a minute. It's okay. But be your own inspiration. Be that person that went out and did the thing, even though you had this or even though you didn't have that or whatever the case may be, go out and do it. Get yourself into that mindset, but try to go easy on yourself because you might not be great at it right away. I wasn't great at losing weight. Look at me a hundred pounds later. So that's a good way to be your own inspiration as well. So just to recap, I want to talk a little bit. You want to find people and surround yourself with people who do the thing that you want to do or have the outlook that you want to have, or live the life that you want to live, or they have the traits or characteristics that you want to have. Surround yourself with those people, as many of them as you can, and spend as much time with them as you can. Number two, I want you to look for positive content, motivational, um, good content, and post it. And post it for other people. See how you get a reaction. I'm telling you what, it's not just the content, it's also the reactions you get from people. When people see that content, it makes them happy. And so you're doing something for others, which we've talked about in previous previous videos. You're doing something for others, you're doing something for you, and a year from now when you're looking back on your memories, which if you don't do, you definitely should, but a year from now when you're looking back on your memories, then you're your own inspiration. You're looking back on your own inspirational posts and getting the same feelings you were getting from it a year ago when you found it all over again. So you're just recycling that same positivity. And then number three, I want you to go do the things. Go do all the things that you think you're going to be able to do once you lose the weight or once you save the money or whatever the case may be. Again, within reason, because when we're talking about saving money, you don't want to like go buy a yacht that you can't afford. But you know what I mean. Do the things, even just little versions of them. So that's all I have for you guys today. I want you to get inspired and get motivated and get ready to do the things you want to do because you get to create your life and you get to decide what kind of life you live. And that's not me saying that everything's always going to be great because it's not. 
but you get to decide how you handle that and you get to decide how your life is moving forward, what your reactions are and what your reactions and your outlook and your mindset are. That's really the, the reality of your life. That perspective is the reality of your life. So if your perspective is that you're grateful and that you're limitless and that you feel wonderful and you can do anything in the world, then that's the reality of your life. That's what you can do. That's who you are. So I want you to get inspired to be that person because I believe you are that person. I believe you can do anything you set your mind to. And if I believe it, you should believe it. You know you better than I do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.